Okay, so just feel your feet. Great, well done, everyone's made it. Feel the ground under your feet and just sink the hips and lengthen up through the spine. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be going through the whole of the Shibashi set uh, for the next couple of weeks or so. And it is very cold. So what we're gonna do first is make sure all our joints are comfortable and content. So just have your feet shoulder width apart, sink your hips lengthen up through the spine breathe in breathe out relax around the shoulders relax the wrists and the hands. Notice your breath, so notice the breath as it comes in, notice the breath as it comes out, sink your hips, relax around the jaw, relax the hands, feel nice and tall, and what we'll do, we'll just do the loosening first, but just don't move too much, so you, you want to uh, turn the waist but a little, a little way and just allow the arms to let go. Just start nice and slow. Relax your shoulders so you feel the you feel the waist turning for your arms flopping round. Gently breathe in and out. That's it, so sink the shoulders a bit more and then raise the hands up. Feel the chest is open. That's it, yeah, that's it, very good. So, so turn a bit as well. There we go. Okay, shake out. Sink the hips. Lengthen through the spine. Relax around the jaw 
and just tune in to the natural springs of the body. And And then turn around the elbow, just feel the arms open, feel the chest open, that's it. So we're just breathing, relaxing, keep going. And change. Okay, relax. That's it. So you just want to feel the arms fold and then let go again. And you're moving from this very quiet and still place. Okay, shake. Check your Wu Chi posture. So have a slight bend in the knees. Lengthen through the spine. Relax the shoulders. And then just let the arms drop. Oh, lovely. So, yeah, we're, we're going to have to spend a little bit longer on the warm up. Um, in cold weather, you, you can get a bit stiff in your muscles, and, and so you want to spend time getting your joints in the correct type of space, I guess show you that from the side and we're not in a hurry we're not you know just take it easy um yeah i, I, I was being asked about uh my tuesday more uh tuesday lunchtime class with forever active um those of you that want to go to it it's 12 o'clock till one but you have to get in touch with forever active and they give you all the links and things because they, they they they're employing me and it's uh kind of combination between the Tai Chi health and the Tai Chi fitness so it's neither of those extremes it's um it's quite an interesting class so do check it out and uh also apologies with the delay in getting the videos up on the YouTube channel I've been uh yeah I've, I've, I've just a bit delayed on that I will sort that out as much as possible I've been having issues with my computer <laughs> so I've got a um, they will be going up at some point.
in the meantime you've got all the other ones to practice so it's all right okay just let go check your your posture feel that feel your springs in the body and you want to you want to feel nice and tall nice and tall and just swing forwards and back so again don't turn too much just do a very gentle turn See that from the side so i'm doing my sleepy tiger eyes i'm listening behind and above that's it okay have a little shake out just start with with one shoulder and we're going to go up back and round so one, two, that's it, three. And again, you want to keep nice and tall in your posture. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then check your posture again. Now go in the other direction. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. Check your posture again. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight other direction one two three four five six seven eight shake out one two three four five six seven and eight other way one two three four five six seven eight little shake out and then with your hands on your chest, I'll show you that from the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. Horse start. You don't need to go as big as me. You can go. You can have a small horse. That's fine too. Dragon serves teacups. One. Two, nice and slow. We're not in a hurry today. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. 
Eight. Nine. Ten. Very gently look to the corners with your nose. So we're just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hands on the hips, circle. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, one more, eight. Other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it will shake out knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, back to the arms. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 seven, eight. Wiggle the fingers to come up and down. And one more. Okay. I think, yeah, I think we're all right. Um, let's go through all 18 moves and we'll, we'll stick with the whole 18, uh, for the next couple of weeks. Then maybe we'll do something else or maybe we'll stick with what, you know, cause it's a lovely set, uh, Professor Lin Hao Shen set. It's really beautiful. Um, uh, but there are, there are some other Qigongs that I've been learning off, um, Eva and Corel Kuskuba. So it might be nice to try. Uh, to try some different things once we've once we've made sure we really know this and then we can we can always come back to it again um, at some point but I quite like um, I like to mix things up a bit so feel your feet relax the shoulders and just gently breathe in and out Relax around the jaw. Really 
feel what's going on. Okay, so the first move is raising arms, so we'll, we'll just start. So breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in and begin. Raise arms. That's it. So you want to raise your arms up. Feel the arms lift through the air. Feel your hands and the palms, you want to feel the palms open and it's almost like you're expanding through your hands. Relax the elbows, wrists, and shoulders. One more. Check your posture and change to open the chest. So you open the chest, you slightly come forward, you raise a little, you come back, and you come down. Floating, float the arms up. Opening the chest. Sink the shoulders. Nice and tall. Dance the rainbow. Stay nice and tall. Very good. One more time. Each side. Lovely. Put the hands down. Slightly bend the knees and angle. Folding in the hips. Separate the clouds. So, yeah, really interesting to do. As long as you wrap up warm with snowflakes falling it's it's quite i mean it is a bit chilly but it is quite something practicing in the snow but i wasn't out there that long i was only out there about 40 minutes this time so um but it, it was good <laughs> really good yeah it was even better having me a cup of tea when i got in but just breathing nice and nice and big Oh, lovely. That's it. Circling 
arms. One, two, three. I'll show it from the side. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One more time. Rowing the boat to the middle of the lake. Again, take your time. Make sure you're being respectful and looking after all your joints. You're feeling calm and connected. Two more times. I'm going to sink the hips, sink the shoulders. Tall, so good posture at the ends there. One more time. Very good. Bouncing the ball up in front of the shoulder. soft like water light like air Okay, we'll do one more each side. And then looking at the moon. Pull through the body, nice and relaxed. So get yourselves nice and relaxed. Breathing, fabulous. So 
soft arms and light floating. Side. Back to the middle, pressing palms. One more each side. That's it. Very good, everybody. Last one. Wave hands like clouds. the waist turn. Breathing. Very good. One more time, each side. Bow and arrow stance. Scoop the sea, look up at the sky. Folding in the hip. Change sides. So make sure your feet are just so.
pigeon flying or flying pigeon. Other side. Pushing waves. more. Other side. more. Check your posh. You could go in horse stance if you want. Tall through the body. Stretching with fisted hand. One more each side. Flying wild goose. One more. Slightly wider stance and then rotating like a flywheel. Okay, now when you get to the bottom corner, we change directions and you want to be aware of your arms, aware of your body. You want to be breathing, calm, 
connected, soft, smooth and slow. Notice what you sense and keep breathing. Very good, very good. Okay, then when you get to the bottom corner, we change. Bring your feet in to Wu Chi, and we're going to do bouncing a ball while marching, uh, Professor Lin Hao Sheng style. Well, my interpretation of what he did, so I might be wrong. So uh, here we go on. But it's like jazz, isn't it? So. <laughs> so have that have that kind of contained exuberance in the second bounce. Lovely. One more time each side. Press palms in calmness. We do three. Sink the hips. We'll stand for a moment and we'll do we'll do um, Master Chung's exercise that he does when he does the end of this uh, um this set. So hold the ball of light, nice and warm ball of light and we just stretch, squash, stretch and squash. Turn, stretch. And then stretch and squash again. It's almost like you're playing with a, a, a very fluffy light ball of dough or something. Not that I'd know anything about such things. Uh, my, my bread making doesn't really work, but hey. <laughs> there we go. And just, just let it stay there for a bit and then place your hands in your heart centre. So place one and then the other. Just think warm, comforting thoughts, peaceful thoughts. And then on the lower Dantian, tall through the body. Better. <laughs> Check your posture. Good job, I noticed that. So, so that's where your um, square is very useful because you can check your own posture at the same time as being in the class when you're on Zoom. It's, it's great. It's really good. It's one of the advantages of uh, online learning. and Also, it means we didn't have to travel out in the snow to get here. I mean, brilliant, isn't it? Brilliant. OK, let's stop for a quick water break and then we're going to move around. Great. I'll just. Uh... Oh, battery full. Yeah, I'm, I'm supposed to be uh, I'm supposed to be going for a run with my friend on Wednesday at Milton Park, but ugh.
So yeah, very important when you are exercising at whatever level we know, whether it's uh, gentle exercise or moderate or intense exercise, that you keep hydrated because that is the rules. Okay. I'm just working something out, just sort of. Yeah, let's do flying pigeon as a as a walking exercise. So have a look. I'll start here like this. I mean, cat stance. So because of the uh, setup of this room, I'm going to have to do it in um, this way. So you'll only see my side profile, but that's okay. And um, yeah, so I go. Heel toe, I transfer the weight. We'll keep it plain. We won't do the, we won't do the professor, uh, professor's embellishments. We're just going to go open close like that. I think that would be easier. Yeah, and we just uh, there we go, and then we just go like this. So you want to feel the chest open, but you want your arms in front rather than at the side or behind too much too much just right there we go because then you maximize this opening feeling in the chest this bit reminds me a bit of um because that guy uh, christopher Plummer died when when she's on the hill singing you know um yeah there we go Then I've run out of wool, so we'll okay. We'll do we'll do another one, and then we'll have another look. Um, we'll look at the we'll look at the we've done pigeon, so this is the pigeon one. We'll have a look at the crane, crane walking. We've not done that for ages, actually. I don't seem to remember. I remember doing it in the summer last year. Okay, so we'll let that go. So uh, walking crane. I'll show you that from. Uh, from the front so you're transferring your weight and you can go into cat stance and that's perfectly legit or you can raise your knee and have the toes hanging down but if you want to raise the knee I'll come a bit closer I'll come even closer you want to make sure your hips are level and you want to make sure your shoulders are level as well so uh, and you can check that by looking at your picture have a have a look so what we'll do we'll do baby crane warms up first and then we'll try it with a walk so you're like this and we just go like this so it's very similar actually and it comes round in a circle when I've done this with Eva it's just this really beautiful thing and then you put the foot down and you come back to your Wu Chi. So one, one of my friends uh, is an English teacher and she's helping me with my grammar and like punctuation and stuff when I'm writing me, doing my songwriting. Um, and, and this is a bit like your, your full stops in the sentence or possibly a comma sometimes. You wanna just make sure this is all lined up nicely and correct. So now we go the other side, we go into cat stance and then we just come up. Now remember cranes are very elegant and graceful. So we'll just do this as a little um, qigong exercise. And okay, lengthen along your spines everybody. Along your spines, that's it, sink the hips, sink the hips. And again, if you have a look, my arms are in front. My arms are in front all the time. So then it's less strain. If you have the arms too far out to the side, it's a bit like two character building. We want to, you know, it's freezing out there. You want to take it easy. Take it easy. There we go. Fabulous. 
You all look very good, by the way. You've all passed the audition for the Zoom display team. Well done. Yeah. There we go. Now, now I've lulled you all into a full sense of security. We'll do one more. Okay, so for even more fun, you can stand on one leg. You come up and you drop the toes down and then you put the foot down, heel toe. So yeah, these were the brightest shoes I could find. I normally in bare feet and shorts, but no, not today. <laughs> Sorry, you'll just have to not be able to see my legs properly. So we go like this. That's it. So keep your keep your hips level. Keep your hips level. Keep your shoulders level. okay that is lovely let's just relax a bit so um if you ever watch cranes and the, i think the same families things like gray herons and spoonbills i think um or the same something or other i'm not not my biology is not great but but they, they have a very particular way of moving and they have this very sense of stillness and it looks great, but actually because they're looking for things that are crawling around in the mud, they actually have to be very still and then only come in when they need to move. So there's, there's a reason why they do that, but it just looks quite mesmerizing. Quite, it's very impressive. So have that in mind when you're doing uh when you're doing this exercise with the walking mm. oh don't tread on my phone don't tread on that yeah watch out funnily enough health and safety don't have stuff on the floor that you trip over especially if you're the teacher <laughs> so uh huh yeah okay you can just about see my feet so what we do as we come up, we go heel toe. Now make the step forward really short. Make it shorter than what you'd think. And then cat stance, up, down. And as we go down, I actually bend my knee a bit. Cat stance, up, ooh, down. Cat stance, up. Cat stance, up. And down. Okay, let, let's go, let's go in that direction. So if you, you can't lift your leg up, that's fine. Just do this. This is just as good. So I'll do, I'll do the plain ones and you can feel it rising. You can feel the sinking and you step and then you do it again. So that was the crane and then, oh, we're starting to run out of oh this is terrible oh well it's um starting to run out of time but never mind we'll, we'll carry on a bit longer but actually let's let's move on i'll just check my yeah we got we got five minutes five minutes oh oh how sad you see that's the problem like tai chi classes really should be about like four hours long um I'd go see Barry in London for a two hour class and then four hours later 
we stop for tea, you know, but never mind. So what we're going to do now is a uh, dragon walking qigong that I learned from one of the many Tai Chi Daves. So thank you, Dave, for teaching me this lovely move. He's a very nice man. Um, mm. So we go like this. We kick. We come down. We transfer the weight. You pick up the pearl and then just to show off to all your mates, you stand on one leg and then you come back. Very useful getting your balance, especially there was some on the way to training today in the garden. There was some really slippy ice. And because I've been practicing all my balancing, I, I got my balance back, which was good. <laughs> but you can stand on one leg if you want, or you can keep the foot where it is. And then you come round like this, and it's all very... Although I've never actually seen a dragon, you can imagine they're very graceful and elegant. Oh. No room, watch out for bookshelves, but we'll, we'll go for a little walk there. So, you know, you might be on your way to the shops. That is the new going out, isn't it? And then, you <laughs> there we go. There we go. Marvellous. Well, we will do this next week as well. And, uh, no hurry. If you want to show off, you can kick to head height if you really want to. shake now we'd better uh yeah if i if i do too much i'll 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 overrun that that would be bad so we just go back to what we do right at the beginning so you want to feel hopefully you feel that your waist has thawed out a little bit a bit more a bit more mobile and you're nice and tall everybody fabulous so yeah yeah, do, do tell your friends about the online Tai Chi or make some and, and tell them. Um, yeah. So just, just breathe in and out. And uh, yeah, if you get the email and think you know someone that might like to join in, um, you know, obviously be subtle in the way you approach them on you know, don't just come out with you look really, really stressed. You should go to Farah's classes. Put it a little more diplomatically than that. And then um, bring, bring him along. It would be great. Keep breathing. That's it. Okay. Relax your shoulders more. And, and tall. Good posture. Especially because you're now all in the display team. You want to you wanna look good. Okay. So nice and relaxed. Breathing in and out. Own your space. Ah, oh, marvellous. Okay, three of these. Embrace the tiger, return to the mountain, everybody. Very good. So again, you're kind of settling down, you're really finding your root. That that calm, quiet, still place. So yeah, I will I will get those videos up on YouTube as fast as I possibly can. Okay, now this time, let's do Master Chung's exercise. So, rub the hands together and polish the face. Rub 
Rub your hands together and give your lower back a rub. Take a few breaths. And then one more time. And stand. Make a fist with the right hand. Left hand over the top. Bring your feet together and bow. Yeah. Great. Right. So, well done everyone. I will stop the recording.